Good evening. I am appearing before you tonight in this pre-recorded message filmed in my fake office to level with you, the British public. Coronavirus was the greatest threat this country had faced since the dinosaurs. However, I feel that now, as the number of new cases and deaths from coronavirus continue to fall, it is time to admit that I haven't acted in the most upstanding manner that you should come to expect from your Prime Minister. The first point I would like to make is in regards to the lockdown measures that were introduced on the 23rd of March. The stay-at-home rule that was implemented to combat the spread of coronavirus was built on a lie. I must level with you, the British public, that the real reason for the lockdown was that I felt I needed some time off work to spend it relaxing with my newest family. I was incredibly fatigued after winning the general election and after getting Brexit done. I saw an opportunity when I seen the coronavirus lockdowns in other countries and I acted on it, immediately locking Britain down. I must say the rest was well appreciated and deserved. I apologise for this and I hope that you will please forgive me. My second point is regarding my defence of Dominic Cummings, despite his breach of lockdown rules that I myself implemented. His brazen disregard of lockdown measures and my spineless reaction was wrong. I must level with you, the British public, that the real reason I defended Mr Cummings is because he has a number of photographs from New Year's Eve in which I am in a variety of uncompromising positions. These photographs would have damaged mine and Britain's image, and therefore I needed to keep him sweet. I apologise for this, and I hope that you will please forgive me. And so, on to my third point. I am proud to announce that I am lifting the lockdown measures I implemented and enforcing new ones. From now on, you can go to work, but must stay at home. If you can't get to work, ask someone else to go for you, providing that they stay at home. The self-isolating period for anyone with coronavirus symptoms has now been increased to one year. Anyone caught outside of their home with symptoms of coronavirus will be immediately and indefinitely jailed. And finally, if you meet any more than two others in your household, for example, if there are three of you, you must triple the two-metre social distancing rule to six metres. You might wish to call them instead. I am proud to announce these new, fairer measures and I'm even more proud of the British public for continuing to adhere to them. These rules will be reviewed every five years based on the general gist I receive from Sky News. Together, we will beat terrorism. Thank you.